Go. I love it when it says go. Let's see how it Welcome, everybody, for the inaugural <laughs> first episode of Two Chaps, Many Cultures. My good friend, Kristen Hoffler. How are you today, sir? I am marvellous. How are you doing? Fantastic for an early morning. Actually, it's not that early. It's 8.30. What, what is it? Not, not early for me, but it's all right. Thanks for getting <laughs> up for me. Thanks for being dapper. No worries at all. I thought, you know, for the inaugural one, you know, just uh, just slap on a little bit of extra extra bling. Okay, I get the hint. So, uh, but it's home hustle, so it's not always dapper, is it? Well, that's right. We don't we don't have to be uh, we don't have to be uh, dapper, but we can be here and present. So, first episode of Two Chaps, Many Cultures. This is going to be what we uh, uh, what will kind of morph into different things. I guess in the future, we will just sit here and talk about and ruminate and postulate. And uh, we, we, will, we will answer questions. That's what we're here to do. We're trying to uh, trying to get this uh, the audience engaged. It's uh, it's not going to happen unless we have you guys on the chat. And uh, please post your comments whenever you have a question. But even if you don't have a question right here in the uh, in the episodes, then send us your questions. Uh, we'll be sending out some information how to do that. But today's topic, as my good friend alluded to is a home hustle or hustling from home, which you've all had to absolutely do in these uh, current <laughs> times, <laughs> whether, you, whether you wanted to or not. <laughs> and I, I mean, first of all, thanks for doing this with me, Brett. And also what Brett was saying that send in your questions or post questions or comments or suggestions in whatever the live feed you're watching, whether it be on Facebook or YouTube or whatever you're using to watch this. Um, because if you don't, you'll have these two chaps banter back and forth and hey, it'll be on you. Um, so <laughs> home hustle. Um, a, I'm, 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 of course I like the title or that, that phrase. And yet I've always been a bit, uh, what's the word, uh, careful with hustle because to me, hustle always alluded to this, this, a used car salesman approach where, hey, buy this from me, and uh, this my shiny object is better than yours. And look, I put a bow tie on, so I'm better than you. Um, so, <laughs> but, um, the and I think I think this is something that we I know for sure that I am learning or I'm getting new insights into doing that is um, presenting our work in a way that the value that we create becomes obvious to our audience. So, um, or you could say we, we, we're redefining our value proposition or we making ourselves um, known to the market in a way that the market responds despite everything that's going on. Um, and I'm a, I started out as a solopreneur. I think Brett, you did too. So mm -hmm. we, we have to, hustle we have to sell ourselves a little bit right this even though sometimes it's still a, a, a new or a a concept for me that i need to that i need to force myself to embrace okay i need to sell something or i need to make a value proposition i need to slap a price tag on this because obviously i invested time and i invested research and my brain power and my life and work experience and therefore it has value to somebody that engages with me however the selling part isn't something that comes natural to me how's that for you yeah and and i had a com com couple of conversations about this over the last few weeks and what i found is that i've realized when i used to do a lot of travel before all this happened which was a lot of travel how much I spent that travel time using it as downtime, using it as time to observe the world. Airports are great places to watch the human uh, oh. <laughs> the human condition, right? And that was that was kind of part of my process is to sit and watch and listen and watch what was going on around me. But when you're at home, when we're kind of, when we kind of came at home to do this type of setup, uh, the constant draw to 
feel like, well, I'm not, I, I'm not doing the other thing that I'm doing, like relaxing when I'm uh, waiting for a plane or, or sitting on a plane, right? Uh, then therefore I, I have to hustle, I have to be in front of a camera, I have to be, I have to be doing something, I have to be in front mm -hmm. of my computer. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the kind of balance I'm trying to strike. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I found myself, you know, just as you say, with solopreneurs, we have to, you know, we have to get up every day and, and do our own thing. Um, and yes, we feel like we have something of value to give, but, uh, uh, you know, how much you balance that um, by just doing it for the sake of it and uh, just because you think you have to and uh, not saving yourself and putting out like what this is, a short snippet of hopefully some insights and great questions and answers that we can get from the audience. Yeah. Well, and I'm going to be very transparent and, and honest about this. Uh, a part, part of the reason why I am going on camera and that we're going live, at least for me, is A, I enjoy your company, Brett, and um, I need the engagement. I need, right. because usually my work involves being in front of people. And right now that is not quite as possible as it used to be. And I'm trying to replicate or not trying, I am replicating this experience in the virtual world by putting, putting ourselves or putting myself in front of a camera with my semi done hair and no makeup and um, at least a clean shirt um, and, and, and trying to, you know, stretch the word trying. And this, this is also a practice. It, it, you either do or you do not, you don't try. <laughs> so we're, 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 I'm, I'm putting myself out there in, uh, in expectation of a response, in expectation of an exchange. It, it's not immediate always with, with this tool, however, it is as close as we get. So that's why I don't feel like I am being busy for busyness sakes, or I'm, I'm in front of a computer just because I need to feel uh, the energy of doing something, of being producing. It's also a my innate human desire to connect, right? And okay. um, that that's what I'm here for. I'm here to connect with you. And I'm obviously, I'm also looking for people who agree with me, and even more so, I think both of us were looking for people to challenge us, to okay. maybe disagree with us and having a civil discourse. And having said that, if you're choosing to have an uncivil discourse, um, we will think about that. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be on you too. Um, yeah. not, not you, but, the, the, but the, metaphorically, the people doing it. That's fine too. Um, we are not going to be everybody's taste, that's for sure. And uh, that, mm. that that is expected, and uh, we're just here to do what we do. Um, the, I think the other thing I've been doing, and I felt I was on a conference and a virtual conference. I'm in the middle of setting up a conference for CTA USA, so I'm trying to gather all these ideas and resources and see what works and what doesn't. I was actually on a, a, a six hour long day, literally sitting in front of a computer and engaging with different people in different workshops and things like that. And uh, I thought, I thought, well, I'm going to have to prepare myself for this because at the end of this, I'm probably going to be wiped out. I'm probably going to have to wipe out the rest of my day because I think this will be overwhelming. For me personally, what I found is that I finished that and I wanted more. I, that was too short for me. So mm. I don't know whether that's a personal thing for me um, because some of that was interaction, but some of it was always also just watching. I mean, everybody can sit around and watch uh, Tiger. What is that show? <laughs> um I didn't watch it, by the way. I didn't. No, I didn't no, no, no spoilers, please. I know every everybody was watching. Yeah, no spoilers. No, I don't mind spoilers. I'm never going to watch it. But uh, but everybody's got time to sit in front of Netflix. Um, but I find if I've can, you know, that's a one way street. This is a two way street. This gives right. me gives me the opportunity to to yeah, right as, as we're doing here. Yeah. But it also uh, engages the brain more. So uh, since it's a two-way street, or e even now it's two too many, right? Or that's the goal, at least, that two of us and maybe a third or fourth person as we bring on guests will will talk to many. That involves more brain capacity because we're not just passively consuming something where we're having to interact. We're, we're watching ourselves. Do we look pretty on camera? Did I miss a comment here in the chat box? How do I respond to this? Who's going to respond to it first, Brett or Christian or whoever the guest is? So. The, the brain will be, I think it's more tiring to be on an interactive platform than to sitting on the couch and chilling with whatever platform you're preferring. Um, 
and I, I, there's a downside to this and i'm going to be as i said this is straight talk this is no sugar coating um our family recently went on a on a vacation because we needed to get out we we chose to um, hunker down in a different state, in a different location, a different house. We didn't violate any uh, COVID-related uh, contact restrictions. We just put ourselves in a different location doing the same thing that we did at home, which meant for me that I brought my office with me to do the same thing that I do at home which to my family was a little bit irritating to say the least because they thought daddy aren't we going to the beach aren't we aren't you spending time in the pool with me today did you not say this was a vacation um and i got called out so and it wasn't pretty because i was the only one violating the family policy of downtime because i chose to break the office to the to the pool house um so there's downsides to this, to how much time you want to spend in producing or being active in an interactive platform. And I'm not going to lie, it I, I feel the pressure to do that because as somebody who's working independently, I it, it's like hunting, right? I'm 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 a hunter and gatherer. If I don't bring home food, if I don't hunt and kill. I hate, hate that reference, but if, if that's what hunters and gatherers did, if I don't do that, um, we go hungry. So the, there is an economic pressure to be doing this. Absolutely. And and that, um, you know, and, and probably I was part of that problem because I actually, uh, I was the one that was calling you. <laughs> <laughs> you were one of many. No, no, but it was of... funny, you know, it's just, uh, it, it, it um, which was great, you know, but I, I, I didn't really want to see the beach when you know I'm not there, but that's uh, that's another thing. But the uh, yeah, that that was um, so. How much you kind of engage with other people, knowing they're doing that, um, unless you put up some maybe. The good thing is to be able to put up some boundaries. You actually said to me, you know, like we, I, I have a hard stop. I need to get to the pool. The girls are waiting for me. That's important, and um, and and I respected that. Of course. Sometimes then ten minutes later, I got a text from you. That's on. That's your fault. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, 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 yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not telling anybody. Um, but that's uh, that. That is part of it. And um, I, I, in our trip last year in Italy, you know, I tell people we we spent a great time uh, doing that as well. But I still managed to engage with clients, not because I wanted to show that I was, you know. Uh, um, this super kind of engaged, you know, entrepreneur, uh, you know, but basically it was like, well, why not? You know, why not still engage? Because this is the work we love. Part of right. the, if we didn't, you know, if we didn't love the work, we wouldn't do it. But it was just kind of nice. Um, and with the right kind of client, I was able to show them exactly where I was. And and that that became part of the conversation. So um if it, you can be open and uh, transparent about it, that, that that's uh, that's another that's another thing about it is um, yeah. Yeah, I think what you just said about we love the work we do. It's I don't know who said it. There's many people who said it in various forms. I remember Steve Jobs being quoted like that, and maybe Seth Godin. If you if you love what you do, you don't have a job. It, it's 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 if it's your heart's work, if it's your yeah. passion, then you don't look at it as work. And that's how I often feel, and I feel blessed to be that person. I I I don't have to drag myself out of bed. I don't have to force myself to the desk and say, "Oh, I gotta do this now." And so I'm I'm happy about that. So that sometimes that has some downsides because family will say, "Hey, come on." Aren't there other priorities in your life too? And yes, there are. And sometimes I, I maybe need to have my family remind me of the boundaries that need to be in place and, and enforced. But I'd rather be I'd rather be somebody who who's passionate about his work and does it re, no matter what the circumstance requires right now, um, rather than being forced to go to a work that I don't enjoy, or even worse, being out of a job because. I'm replaceable or not needed in this current situation. That's right. Yep. Yeah. A lot of people struggling and a lot of people finding new ways to do things in this world. And uh, we're just a couple of chaps doing that too, right? <laughs> now, I mean, we, we've talked about this on, on this platform before, but since this today is the topic of hustling from home, have you found for yourself that 
um, you've done more work, I mean, more bottom line relevant work, or do you find yourself to be doing the exact same amount or is it less and the work that you're doing is simply to, um, to, to up the marketing game? Mm. Well, I'm trying to do a bit of both. Um, I think the, the, work has got, the work has gone down, although it is um, not that it's, you know, it, it, I'm still doing plenty of work, don't get me wrong. Um, but, I, but I find that without the travel, without the actual having to get on an airplane, go to hotels and all that kind of stuff, the work doesn't feel as, as much right. um, because all I have to do is commute down the stairs. So that's, that's, that's one thing. Um, so, so yes, it, it, the work is great. The other thing is that I've been watching what other people do and I've been trying to help them. I'm putting stuff out there and saying, this is what I'm doing. This is, this is the kind of an example of that. This is what I'm doing. I see what you're doing. I would love to help you make that kind of look different and match you to the, be the per person I know you are. Because a lot of the mm -hmm. people that are doing this are friends of ours, right? Mm -hmm. they're, they're friends of ours that possibly, you know, have not kind of looked at, tech, looked at the technology, looked at what, can, what is possible in this. Right. So what I'm doing is um, I'm, I'm saying this is the mistake I've made. Uh, and and th this is how I fixed it, and this is mm -hmm. what it looks like now. So um, our good friend Barbara, who I think is maybe watching Barbara CV over there in uh, in the spa Spain <laughs> at the moment, um, what, you know, what, another wonderful teacher of uh, of just bringing her her herself to these these type of technologies, and also looking at the technologies and encouraging others to engage with them. So this is kind of I'm I'm I like it. This is this is part of the fun, and uh, yes, sometimes like last night, I'm sitting down here and I'm editing little videos and stuff like that. It's just it it just seems to be another thing that I've that I like to do, um, and 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 serve the, the the friends and the and the colleagues that I've got out there. And yeah, full disclosure, I think for from both both of us, um, one of the reasons why we are doing this today and we plan on doing this continuously is because. There were people in our industry, in our field, that um, edged us on and said, "Hey, we like what you do, or you guys are funny, or you guys are weird, and why are you doing this?" And to be honest with you, the, the more of you say you guys are weird, why are you doing this, the more uh, you, you make me do this because right. you're edging me <laughs> on. So you, you, your hate is my fuel. Um, no, no. Um, but. The, the, the fact that people came to you and I and say, hey, um, we see what you do and how do you do it? So so we're showing you how to do it because it's not rocket science. And sure, it takes a few building blocks and puzzle pieces and putting them together in sequence in, in the right order. And we'll get better at this, right? So this is raw and unrehearsed. There is no script, as you can tell. Um, my teleprompter next to my screen is not set up. And th this is... Two middle-aged, white, pale, and stale blokes or chaps um, bantering about, right? Um, and you might ask yourself, what, what do these old farts have to tell us about culture, and why are we why are we looking at two two people of the same gender and the same skin color and the similar age? Well, I don't know, but that's what it is right now. So there there'll be more color and there'll be more diversity here soon. So. Just hang yeah. tight. This is this is the inaugural episode. What do you we expect? A, you know, we have Nations? a lot of friends. We have a lot of friends that uh, that have been our teachers and our mentors, and uh, that we want to bring on and have them share their insights as well. So, of course, if you send your questions in, we're not going to know everything, um, but we certainly will know where to find it out. We we've got plenty of people um, that we can call at a moment's notice. We're very blessed by that um, to be able to do this. Uh, and have these people that teach us and uh, and make us learn, challenge us, and uh, hopefully they'll challenge you too. Right. So, I mean, we didn't really put a time limit on this. I mean, uh, we could go on for hours, uh, but uh, that's not what this is about. We're going to make this short and sweet. Yep. Um, we're going to uh, we're going to tie it down to hopefully like 15, 20 minutes a day. Um, and uh, but please send in your questions. Um, you can find us on. Uh, everywhere linkedin facebook uh twitter all kinds of places um this is also being well it's being broadcast to youtube um mm -hmm. to uh the cultural mastery youtube is that uh, is that what it is is that where we find it 
I think that's what it is. But we'll, we'll, we'll share the link. So you, you'll get emails anyway. And if you're not on our email list, uh, then share your email with us through, through a direct message so we can keep you up to date when the next episode is. By the way, isn't there a second episode today, Pratt? Ah, uh, well, that, that, it's a kind of a second episode, but it is an interview, like a bit of a, well, it's about 30 minutes with a good friend of, uh, friend of ours, Joanna Stell. She is um, someone who does storytelling, uh, teaches using storytelling through the medium of facilitating and coaching and, uh, and, and training people. And she's got some great insights. She's got an event coming up later this week we're going to learn a little bit more about. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to that. That's one example. Yes, we're going to tack on these little extra bonus. A bonus? We're giving like we're giving away bonuses already. People have. It's what kind of is this? It's like what is it? Christmas? No, but <laughs> that will be at eleven. Uh, what is it? Eleven a.m. Central, twelve Eastern, as they say on the. Uh, and that will be somewhere around about seven p.m. Central European time. Six, six um, p.m. 6 p.m. Will be 6 p.m. I'm sorry. Yes, uh, that would be 6 p.m. 6 p.m. in the UK in the old dart, as we say. But that <laughs> would be uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, hello to my friend Matthew Hill. Uh, and uh, <laughs> um, uh, I'm sure Cheers. he's not. I'm sure he's not watching. He's probably he's probably got a cocktail sitting out the pool. Well, right my now. pint's empty. He's he's in the pub. That's why he's not watching. And this is too early for me to have a glass. Pubs before. are open. Pubs are open. Of course, that's where he's going to be. All right, no worries. Thanks, man. Uh, that'll be good. I'll see you again uh, in what about uh, two hours' time. Thank you, everybody, for joining again. Send your questions. Yep. And tomorrow, right? Be back and here. Back here. Same, back here. Same place. B square. Be there or be square, as they say. All right. Thanks, all. And see you guys. Bye.